shoulders back. Stretch your legs out straight. If you're a beginner, you can keep your legs bent. Now remember not to lean back on your tailbone. You have to be on your sit bones. <coughs> so, take the legs straight. From there, twist your body out and stay there. One, two, three, four, five. If you're a beginner, you can simply extend your arms this way. One, two, three, four, five. And come back to the center, release. Now we're going to twist on the other side. So once again, come into Navasana. Twist your body, take your arms and stay there. One, two, three, four, five. And if you're a beginner, you can bend your legs and twist your body. One, two, three, four, five. And release. So this requires a lot of balancing as well. If you uh, are not able to hold it for 10 counts straight, you can do it for 5-5. Five, five. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Next from there, lie down on your stomach. We will go for Paripruta Bhujangasana. So, lie down on your stomach. Feet will be together at all times. Do not keep distance between your feet. If you're a beginner, for Bhujangasana, you can place your palms in front of your chest and come up halfway. If you are an intermediate or advanced practitioner, you can place your palms near the lower ribs. Inhale and take your body up, your upper body. From there, exhale. Twist your body to the right and look above your right shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look in front. Exhale. Come down. Release your hands. Turn your neck on any one side. Take a few deep breaths. Again, we'll do it on the left side now. This time I will be showing uh, the variation. So, hands beside the uh, chest. Inhale up and twist. One, try to keep your feet together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, release. Take your hands back, turn your neck on any one side and relax for a few counts. Go with deep inhalation and exhalation.
and you're not able to hold your left palm, you can simply stretch your arms in front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From there, place your knees on the ground and go into Shashankasan. Give a deep stretch to your body. Stay there for one, two, three, four, and five. Slowly inhale, lift your upper body up. And now we're going to go into downward dog again. And we'll twist on the left side. So, remember to keep hip width distance between your feet and equal distance between your arms. From there, I'll catch my left ankle with my right hand, twist over to the left side and look outside from under my armpits. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can go in the variation if you feel like. Nine and ten. Come back to Rangul Dog. And from there, relax in Shashankasan. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly inhaling, come back to the sitting position again. Next, we are going to do the extended puppy posture. So for that, you have to come into, uh, come stand on your knees. Remember to keep some distance in between your knees. Stretch your arms out. If you're flexible enough, you can touch your chest to the ground, otherwise it's fine. Now what we have to remember here is that we are not sitting back like this. The leg has to be aligned with the hip in this way. And stay there. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly come back up. That gives a really good stretch to your shoulder joints. From there, lie down on your back. We will go for some twisting postures in this position. Stretch your legs out. Maybe relax for a few deep breaths. and knees together. So we will place our knee on the knee and the foot on the foot which means our left and the right knees will be together and the left and the right feet will be together. Hands clasped in this position placed under your neck. Inhale. Now while exhaling take your knees down to the right side Remember that the knees are together and the feet are also together and look towards your left. You should be feeling the twist on your left waist area and stay there. One, two, three, four, five. back to the center and while exhaling we will take our legs down on the left side and look towards our right. Stay there. One, two, three. Ensure that your 
elbows are not lifting off the ground. The elbows should be fixed firmly on your mat. Seven. Keep your legs wider than your hips, feet apart. Bring the arms away from the body, palms facing up. Keep your shoulders relaxed and away from your ears. Take a few deep inhalations and really long exhalations. As you are lying down, notice your breath moving in and out of your body. With each inhalation, experience a sense of expansion and openness in your body. And with each exhalation, a feeling of relaxation and peacefulness. Every time you exhale, let go of any tension in your muscles. Scan your body and maybe notice any sensation of warmth or tingling in different areas of your body, maybe in your hands or your feet. Allow your body to feel the effects and the benefits of the practice. Feel a positive change in your body as a result of the asanas you have just done. Notice a sense of calmness and stillness within you. Keep your awareness on your breath, focusing on the long inhalations and the deep exhalations. Slowly start bringing movement to your body. Move your toes and your fingers, your feet and your palms. Be completely aware of this movement. Gently turn to one side and stay there for a few deep breaths. Allow the energy to flow freely through your body. Relax and focus on your breathing. Slowly with the support of your hands, come to a seated position eyes still closed Oh, 
palms together. You observe the heat created in the palms. Now place the palms slightly around your eyes. Feel the gentle warmth around your eyes. Bring the palms in front of your face and with gentle session. Thank you so much. Namaste.